Welcome back to the grind for another act 7.2 completion or easy path guide. This quest is quest number three. And the path we are taking is this one here with special delivery, stacking power, and then that alternating uh, unstoppable buff where if you're close to the opponent, then they get the buff. And if you are far away from the opponent, you will get the unstoppable buff. Now, unfortunately, the first couple fights here, uh, I had some failure of the recording, but I think we've got that issue figured out now. But basically, how this works is you want to trigger a buff in order to gain power. You do not gain power any other way. So champions that do not gain lots of buffs will struggle, but if you have a specific fight on this lane that you do not have a counter for, you can do this with any champion. That's because one, you can trigger decks to gain some power, and even when you get rid of decks, it will also give you some power. Plus, if you consistently get that unstoppable buff, that's another way that you can gain a little bit of power. Now, Silver Surfer was not the champion to demonstrate this with with Dr. Doom because most of the damage um, come or a lot of the damage comes from the incinerate and we can't incinerate Silver Surfer or I should say the damage does not apply to Silver Surfer. Neither does the shock damage. So this wasn't an ideal matchup, but it was just to demonstrate that even without gaining buffs um, innately in the champion's kit, you can still make this happen with the unstoppable buff as well as the um, decks that you can trigger in order to get extra power as well. We are not going to continue watching this fight because it is a very long fight and there is just not a whole lot really to discuss. Now, when I did my completion run, I didn't really use any of these buff heavy champions champions and it would have definitely made the path a lot easier but I still managed to do it without any buff heavy champions but you can see Angela here gains a lot of buffs um, when she hits the opponent she gains just tons of buff throughout the fight and you can see that we're going to be building power very fast and not really risk running out of our 15 charges we even get power sometimes when we're using our special attack when that is hitting we're also gaining power sometimes so we can really cycle special attacks quite quickly and not have to worry about those charges going to zero so angela is a fantastic option for this lane but really anyone with a lot of buffs the next one we'll see is uh hyperion now hyperion is a bit of an interesting one because he has five hits on his heavy attack he can only do three and then he is out and he starts to degen. So you sometimes will have to play it safe and just maybe dex to gain a little bit of power or wait for the unstoppable buff so you can gain some power. Because you can see I was just a little bit too aggressive and I did trigger the degen. After that, we got into a rhythm and we were able to generate enough power to have at least one special attack before the charges ran out. So Hyperion is also a good option. You just might have to play a little bit cautious at certain points. Now, we're also going to take a look at Venom the Duck. Venom the Duck has access to tons of Fury buffs and you can get these very easily and so you can easily get to at least one bar of power before you run out of charges and allows you to cycle buff or special attacks very easily and quickly so you can definitely use howard the duck if you do have him ranked up colossus is another great option because every time you parry you get an armor up and that means you get power so you can very easily build power and when you activate your special two you also gain extra armor ups so you refill some of that power quickly magneto is also great because every time he knocks the opponent down and when he charges his heavy he gets more buffs so you can very easily build power with magneto on this lane there are no metal champions however but magneto is still good against non-metal champions and you can pretty much cheese the path just charging a few heavies and getting to a special three and then pretty much with all those buffs on you after the special three charge one more time you'll get another full bar of power now the most annoying fight on this path is kingpin because he shrugs off um, your debuffs and parries so he can be annoying to fight especially because you don't want to push him to a special two because then he'll be unstoppable for a ridiculous amount of time and you'll just have to dodge and dodge and dodge and get backed into the corner now i did this fight mostly with falcon who doesn't gain buffs so i had to rely on um, dexing and on the unstoppable buff so consider bringing a champion that cannot have their buffs shrugged off but also um, it would probably be more easy just to use a champion like angela that doesn't really rely on parry for her playstyle and very easily gains buffs to build power and she can just cycle through them very easily so i'll just play a little bit more of this this is um i think in this fight i died around 50 percent actually but you can see it's kind of tedious and a very long fight when you're relying on decks to gain your power as well as the unstoppable 
unstoppable and it can be challenging to make sure the spacing is timed perfectly uh, but it is possible to do this lane with any champion if you need a specific champion to counter a specific fight uh, however Ghost is another great option, and actually Ghost worked out pretty good for me versus Kingpin because you can counter with heavies. You can counter his heavy attack and a special one with heavies very easily, and Ghost gains buffs when she uses her heavy attack. Maybe not every time it's not guaranteed, but you can gain a lot of buffs over time when you're using heavy attack. So if you do land a parry and it sticks, you can throw off a heavy. We didn't get any buffs that time, um, but ideally you'll be able to bait out heavy attacks and special ones and then counter with your heavy attack in order to get the damage. It can be tedious as you can see here. Uh, we're struggling to get one off, but then with that we had to create spacing unfortunately after that one um, because of the unstoppable buff. But then after that heavy, we're able to do a heavy attack uh, as well, but unfortunately still didn't get any buffs. Um, we're gonna make it work though. We're gonna make it work eventually here. So that parry sticks, throw off a heavy attack and we get a couple fury buffs. And then you just build up to your special two and throw it off. And that's pretty much how Ghost handles these fights. Ghost would work really good against most of the other fights. Kingpin is just a bit more challenging because of the fact that he shrugs off your parries. But even then, with being able to counter with heavy attacks, Ghost worked really well, and I wish I had just brought her in right away. Now, as far as the boss, for completion, I went with Punisher. The nodes on him are Power Surge, or sorry, Surge Protector and Power Struggle, which are kind of interesting. And the other bosses, uh, maybe depending on your roster and who you have available, might be a good choice as well i know some people used archangel against the hit monkey i don't have archangel though so i went up against punisher and it's an interesting thing because power struggle means when he gains a bar of power you gain a bar of power and if you let him throw his special attack before you do you'll lose all your power now with the surge protector every hit puts a charge on him and if he throws a special attack before you consume those charges he'll refund a certain amount of power from his special attack however if you throw off a special attack before he does and consume all of those charges it deals extra damage against the punisher so you get some extra damage on that so you want to make sure that you're throwing your special attack to consume those charges and then baiting out his special attack especially because if you let him throw a special attack first you're going to lose all the power that you would have been able to use now you want to use a champion that has good block proficiency for this fight because you're going to have to take a lot of block damage from the punisher's special attacks or use a champion that can potentially power lock power drain or has good power control for this fight now i decided to test out guardian for this fight he actually worked quite well because he has good block proficiency and when you throw off lots of special ones you build up those charges and then you just want to push to a special two in order to consume them and how you can do that is after you get him to one bar of power you just want to dash back and hold block to discourage the ai from throwing a special attack and then you can either reparry beta heavy or whatever in order to get your in and just continue repeating that until you get him above two bars of power at which point you'll get two bars of power and then you can activate your special two to consume those charges now because it can be a bit tedious to push him up to a special two if he's not cooperating you will lose some of those charges so your damage off the special two might not be as good but i found that this worked out quite well for me even though it was a, a fairly long fight and unfortunately i was not able to get the solo with this fight because of all the block damage and then a last second uh failed intercept unfortunately but you can see you can get some pretty good damage off those special twos uh if you can time it all right and get to that special two uh we did take a lot of damage here because our armor up buff was gone and then I went and dashed in and he uh, intercepted me, unfortunately. So uh, I went back in with Nick Fury. You can pretty much use most champions for this fight. Uh, just using the, the technique, if you want to push him up to the special two, where you dash back, hold block, reparry, and then go back in. And that's kind of what I recommend because I prefer the special two. I feel like there's a little bit less block damage, um, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that you have to deal with more special ones if you bait out the special ones of course plus some champions prefer uh, when you're attacking with certain champions you want to use your special two so that's a way that you can build up to your special two uh, but pretty much any champion can be used ideally one that can maybe control some power but primarily has high block proficiency so you reduce the amount of damage that you take so i do hope this video was helpful let me know who you used and how your run went keep an eye out for other videos for act 7.2 completion check out the playlist good luck and i hope to see you in the next video